Hi guys, Phil Burt here. Today I'd like to talk about people who suffer with saddle sore on both sides, but in the gutters as I call it. Terrible terminology. If you can think of a bad one, please send it in. But basically what I'm talking to here is the people who suffer from saddle sores right in the side as basically your leg joins your groin, so the side of the perineum. <clears throat> now I see quite a lot of people with this issue and it can be really, really problematic, you know? The sores develop all the time, stop you enjoying your cycling. Here's my tips to look out of this. Number one, make sure you're on the right width for saddle, okay? So the width of all saddles is measured at their widest point. So generally towards the back, measure that. And if you can measure your own sit bone distance, first of all, make sure you're on the right width. Remember saddles go from 138 to 143, all the way to 165 in the end, you know? And remember, the smallest female I've seen had the widest pelvis and the small, biggest man had a narrow pelvis. So there's more variation within genders than there is between the genders. So don't assume just because women generally have wider hips for childbirth that you necessarily need to be on a wider saddle. That is a general rule, but you could be an exception. The second thing is make sure the position of the saddle is in the right place. Now, as you can see here, this is the flare of the saddle. If you if you are getting this issue, you may be sitting too far back and getting more contact with this part of the saddle and slightly adjusting the saddle forward or backwards could optimize where you sit and get rid of the problem. The other thing is different saddles have different amounts of flare. So they come in and go out slower and faster than this. So it might be that a different shape of saddle can help you. And the last point, which is a bit out there thinking, but say you've gone through lots of saddles and everything, is looking at your stance width. Now, when I say stance width, that means how wide your feet are on the pedals, the thing that really nobody ever talks about. Now, I have had some success in moving people slightly wider with pedal washers. You can get small ones and bigger ones. They're quite easy to find. But basically, by moving the feet wider, obviously, the hips become slightly less constrained on the saddle and you, your knees and legs can be more aligned. So if you have got a wide pelvis, it might not be enough just to have a wide saddle that supports you, but you may need to get those legs out the way a little bit. Oh, and one more thing, just look at your chamois and your shorts. I mean, uh, Enduro do a really good range of small, medium and wide chamois. And of course, that could solve your issue, right? So there you are, there's my top tips on people who suffer saddle issues on both sides, in between the legs or the gutters. Thanks, bye.